Oh, hey, it's me, Debbie again. And I'm here to share with you my favorites of 2011. I've been tagged by Karen and by Leonie, and today I'm here to show you mine. Of course, I have to start out with paper. The greatest thing I found last year, especially last year, were the Christmas uh, papers at a local store, and they had some gorgeous papers, and these are my favorites. And they're even not necessarily Christmas papers, so I can use them for cards and all also. So these are definitely my favorites of all. And I also really like these little 6x6 pads I found, and they're vintage pads. And they had two collections this uh, last year, so uh, yeah, well this is a mix, but uh, these are my most favorite ones. So this this one has very bright colors too, and the small size makes them perfect for card making or little projects. This is a more muted one, and this I've already taken out, so there's nothing really to show, I guess. No, but you can see the patterns on here. And what I love also is using uh, bigger pages, uh, like um, A4 sizes or 12 by 12. And since I'm primarily a card maker, I like very uh, colorful patterns. So these are a couple of my favorites for card making. So with a lot of color and flowers, with some paisleys. Again, colorful flowers. More color. Yes, <laughs> I like colors. I love this design. It's uh, an old collection, the Spring Fling collection by Pink Paisley. I like cute papers like these with the little owls. This is a jelly bean soup paper. If it has dots, and especially when it has multicolor dots, I'm sold. <laughs> I like these ones for uh, products more like wedding cards or something. Again, a colorful flower one. And this one I think is really cool also for uh, for boys. So, that are my favorites considering paper. I most definitely love my Stanley knife. It's uh, a big, a big screwy thing. And I like uh, cutting with it because it's very sharp and it has very good grip and I used to use it on uh, while I was studying uh, for yeah, of course sturdier uh, products like a cardboard and a foam board and such but I like it for card making too. Uh, my number three are of course my little sis uh, scissors. This one especially is for ribbons so I'll keep it sharp. And this one I like for paper cutting. I've got uh, several of them, so I never... <laughs> if I can find the one, I can find the other, <laughs> probably. So My number four, of course, what you need, adhesives. I love sticky tape, and I've got them in several uh, uh, widths. And I also very love the glue dots. So uh, just to adhere a little accessories as flowers and buttons. And of course, no one can do without glossy accents. Mine is all, uh, almost gone, almost uh, at its end, but well, I'll need to buy a new one. <laughs> so my number five are of course punches. And the ones I most mostly use are uh, my corner punch punches and yeah corner rounding punches I must say. Uh, my circle punches I've got several uh, sizes and my flower punches I have several sizes of them too and of course uh, border, pu border punches and this is just uh, one from a local store but I al also got uh, one AK success punch. So on to my number six, 
that must be definitely bling I've got bling in all several all kind of colors I like these ones because they're small and they store easily so I've got purple and yellow and pink and well of course green and well, you know, but I also like these ones become th these coming multicolor ones, and of course the the neutral, the crystal bling. But I also really, really love to use my uh, perlin pen. So it's uh, a pen that makes little pearls. You just make little blobs with it, and you let it dry, and you can use that on. Uh, your project so you don't have to buy pearls uh, in all different kinds of sizes the other thing I love using and actually is a new found of this year and I must take the box are paint dabbers I must say I haven't used them yet and these are just cheap ones I found uh, at, the, at the store well when we are on holiday because uh, I have to try it out before I want to buy uh, more expensive ones but I really loved seeing all projects people were making with them so I just had to buy them and try them out but I still have to do so <laughs> I'll keep you updated on that and second thing you can see in the box also are uh, some glimmer mists and I made them myself so uh, I just added a mixture of pearl paint and some water and some glimmer eyeshadow I think and I think some hairspray for um, uh, for a binder but I'm not sure <laughs> just try some things out and the bottles were in a pack like this um, two spray bottles and two normal bottles and also little jars for uh, traveling of course and they were at the dollar store so um, I bought those, these and I'm really happy with those and these jars are just keep some paint so they don't go to waste okay so the next thing I'll definitely love are using ready uh, ready made card bases and I've got them in all kinds of colors so it's just like this and I love to work in squares um, so they're like this and I combine them with the papers I've got and stamped images and it's easy to grab for and um, start a project like this so I've got them also in different sizes these are a bit smaller and the other thing I really really like to do as you might have seen by uh, the box is organizing um, if I don't organize my stuff I simply cannot find it and I don't know what I have and I make projects uh, and after making a project of especially making a card I think oh yeah I've got that little thing I would have used if blah 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 if I could have find it so um, organizing and what I do is I organize um, on color I've just started to uh, reorganize my embellishments because I had them um, organized in category but I'm now going to organize them on color so I'm going to buy those twist on uh, jars like you have got a stack of jars and I'm going to organize uh, per color so a stack per color and then in the stack different categories like beads and buttons and bling and well, so on as you can imagine and I also very love the fact that I organize my papers and I do it like this the cardstocks I've got I've um, just um, slided them in uh, page protectors of which I've cut off the, the uh, edge you put normally in the binder and this way I know of the color I've got I keep it safe and I can also um, save my scripts so if I ever uh, need to work with uh, a color I first look for scraps I've got and if I can use the scraps first so that's organized to my scraps and I with the smaller ones I've just cut it through half 
and this one is uh, well like this and the other half I've shown along this edge to make sure I've got two pockets for another A5 size paper. I also like to organize things like uh, making samples. So this is a sample of all the A5 cardstock I've got. Uh, this is the sample I've shown you in another tutorial I made of all my distress inks. So I see what colors I've got and what they look like. And I organize my ribbons uh, like this in little pieces. I've um, store them in big jars as you might have seen I'll put a picture up and uh, for working on a card I like to get these and I just uh, hold them against my project to see what color matches and then I go into the jar and find the ribbon I need so that's for organizing definitely definitely need to organize <laughs> bit OCD about that I think but well it works for me so um, the next thing I'll definitely, definitely cannot do without, especially for card making, is my ruler. And this one I bought uh, at a local warehouse and it's got the cutting edge. So it's a steel edge, which I love. I used to uh, cut just along uh, plastic rulers, but they were, were going to cut in. And well, now I've got this one and I really, really love it. So... Um, I must have for card making <laughs> and projects of course. And what can you do without inks? So I've got quite a lot, quite a lot of inks I think. Uh, and I sh especially like these ones. This is my memento. I've got it in, in several colors but I definitely love the tuxedo black. Because this is the uh, one I use to uh, stamp my images with when I'm making cards. I also really really love to use the chalk inks by Colorbox because they're uh, quite tiny so you can use them easily on stamps and make a multicolor stamp like that and they also work well with sponges so you can easily make a background or anything. And of course distress inks and these must be the two favorites I've got. I've only got about I think nine colors at the moment or well a bit more I think but I haven't got that ha haven't got them all but these ones definitely are the ones I use most so broken china my favorite color and vintage photo for distressing okay so what's next well must be my white flowers I love white flowers because I can mist them, I can paint them, I can sponge them, I can well just lay with a white flower, I can do actually all the things I want and uh, make them in the color I want easily. And of course without stamps no card making so I love 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 my stamps and I'll show you a couple of my favorites. I love cute images and I especially love working with penny black ones and these are just <laughs> I think very cute and so I love working them with them. I also love working um, with this stamp. It's the one I got from Leanne, a lovely scrapping uh, last year and I'm totally in love with it. I love the finished look of it and with the description and well with the butterfly. It's gorgeous. Then I also love working with easy easy foam ones and I especially love working with Whiff of Joy images or Elizabeth Bell images as you can see here. So I need to have a better solution for this but well still have to do that. And here are a couple more of those. They are very cute and I love working with these little girls and I also love working with other cute girls so these are Rochelle and Miller, this is Suganelli, this is uh, Magnolia, Magnolia of course and I also love working with uh, Fairy Song ones that's a quite unknown brand I think but 
she's got some really cute images and I love to work with those as well and non girl related I love butterflies and branches and things like that so because they are very versatile also on other projects and then of course I have some great um, acrylic stamps and I store mine in CD, keys, CD cases and these are a couple of my favorite sets which I bought at local stores love this one with the borders I also love the Christmas sets they had last year also at the local store and this is one of the cheap sets for well I think uh, one and a half euro or something so and they've got very cute images also like to use the you call them dollar type of stamps I think little small uh, small stamps I've got a few of those and one of the best purchases last year was this stamp I think and it's just got a couple of things just saying hello sending you happy thoughts forever friends and have a wonderful day and I love, love using them on cards especially and of course background stamps so I love these ones I've got I've got a script one and I've also got a music note one and I've got these wonderful ones which I really really love using too so that's about stamps yeah I know <laughs> I've got a lot <laughs> but I'm a card maker so I need stamps uh, well so the other thing I love to use are bats and I don't know it's not really a thing too but since I love organizing and since I love to stuff my things away I use bags and I've got them in all different sizes and I also got some clear bags for my cards to protect them while I'm not if I'm just saving them up for a bit or if I'm going to sell them so bad must be on my list and of course uh, ribbons and trim as you know I've got my ribbon in those big big jars and as I've shown you a picture of that before and I also love trims I didn't know trims actually existed <laughs> sounds crazy though but I've just started um, crafting well I think for two years now and YouTube just this year so I went on the YouTube and went on some logs and I saw people using some awesome trims so I went looking for them and I found just a couple but most of these which I have in here are from giveaways uh, or from uh, rags or swaps or anything like that so they for trims <laughs> and no trims without buttons right so now I still got my buttons in this big box and I love it but it takes time and time to go through the box and I used to love that but now I'm more of a um, sometimes quick uh, project making so as I said I'm going to organize things by color so I can easily find the ones I need but I love it being it in the box too <laughs> so well maybe I just leave it um, colored pencils well of course well these are the ones I use and they're not something fancy or anything just colored uh, pencils per brown sale and uh, I love using them because uh, mostly uh, I color my images uh, when I'm stamping with um, for card making and such I'm using my colored pencils and I have some Copics but I still need to work on my technique on those and I still need a water brush to paint with my uh, distressing so my color pencils are the thing I reach for most and it's a double layer box I made a, a sample sheet it's a double layered box and it's been very useful to me already so love my color pencils uh, 
I think we're almost done. Let's see. Yeah, uh, right. My tiny um, stapler. I've been looking for one for ages, and just a few months ago I found one. And I love the tiny gesture from Tim Holtz because it also goes through thick uh, chipboard and all, but I can't seem to find them here in the Netherlands, or if I find it, it's very expensive, in my opinion. So I needed something cheap, some alternative, and this is what I found. And it makes just like Tim Holtz one, tiny um, stapers, and it goes through quite thick cardboard, I think. Well, not smoothly. Well, it does, so I have to, <laughs> have to work on that, but usually I'm, I um, use it just on one or two layers and it goes through perfectly. So this is my other uh, thing I need. And the last thing not to forget, of course, is I love YouTube. And I love blogs, uh, not only for getting to know people as I'm doing now, and I love that about it, but I also use it for inspiration and, and for um, well, seeing what's out there in, uh, well, like projects, uh, crafting, and all things like that. And of course, I love doing videos, so it's been my gateway to the world, I think, and I love doing it. And I love going online and searching for new and cool stuff. So uh, YouTube and blogs must definitely be on my list. And that is also to end my list. So I hope you enjoyed watching my uh, favorites. And I'm going to tag five other girls. And I know it's hard because almost everyone has already done a video. So I've tried to look for girls that haven't been tagged already or haven't... Uh, uh, done a video, uh, so I hope uh, they'll love the stack that I'm tagging and they will play along. So girls, I'll put your links up uh, too, and I hope you enjoyed watching my favorite. So bye for now, bye!